I'm just your average type girl. Brown hair, brown eyes. I'm just your average type girl who loves gorgeous guys. I like to sing, I like to dance. I still remember the first song that I wrote. Sometimes I lie, though I shouldn't. It was I'm just your average type girl was kind of the, the way the chorus went. Your average type girl who at night has to sleep. I'm just your average type girl, and my wounds never need. <laughs> So I've always been, since I was really, really young, super creative and loved, I loved to act, I loved to write, I loved to, you know, dance, I loved, I was a bit like a human jukebox. I love music and listened to it all the time and knew the lyrics to, you know, a, a gazillion songs of all different styles. And so I would spend a lot of time in high school changing the lyrics to songs that were already written and, um, um, and then, you know, like there was one that we were sitting in physics class, in physics class and, um, it was like, do you know the Billy Joel song, Piano Man? And so it was like, it's 11.35 on a Monday. I don't know what's going on. Mr. Jackson is babbling as usual about something that's called a proton. And it you know, went on the whole song. It was just, so I did a lot of those things with friends. I would take a song and then completely change all the lyrics. And Why can't I be with me today? It started in Australia. Um, after I finished my degree in management, um, it was like, what am I doing with my life now? I mean, I, you know, it was, and I started to travel. And then I stayed in a little town called Byron Bay for six months. Um, and there I bought my first guitar, um, and there I learned to play. I was traveling so much at the time, you know, in Asia and in India and in Egypt and in Australia. And, in looking at other possibilities, I came across um, the Quito people in the Northwest Territories. And there was a position uh, for, to manage a small community. The indigenous culture is one that uh, has always been very close to me. I, I have a very good friend from Ganawagi um, from high school, Lynn Jacobs. And just, you know, through her, I learned a lot of, of just a lot about First Nations. And, and I, I've just been attracted to their ways. Uh, um, and so I, I was very, and I'm, and I'm somebody who's also been very attracted to religion and spirituality and understanding of just, you know, God and life and so forth since a very young age. So I was very interested to, you know, in that side of things. Try to transform and take up lots of room. Escape from it. To what, closer to what to me is the essence of life in a way. I mean, just people that seem to really live closer to the land and respect the, I don't know, the cycles of life. Brush my naked skin. Making, making the kind of spiritual aspect of life a, a big part of life. Let me in. Just seems to have a respect for nature and and the where I think we come from and what we're a part of, you know. And that in a lot of our Western society, we've you know sometimes seem to have forgotten. Something.